Today, me and Jesse are going to run through 10 would you rather questions, each relating to the AFL. This is Jesse's channel. You have not been fooled. Jesse, how are we doing? Good, man. Thanks for having me on my own channel. Uh, I really appreciate you taking <laughs> the reins of introducing my own video uh, and keen to get stuck into would you rathers that involve somebody else and not just me talking to the camera constantly. So this is a really intricate, uh, in-depth analysis type video. So let me explain it really quick. We're going to ask a question and you have to choose, would you rather option A or option B? Jesse, right now, would you prefer Jed Walter or Max King? Oh, for where West Coast are at, maybe Jed Walter. Um, but that's a tough one. Not asking Max about West Coast, bro. Yeah, you are what, asking about West Coast? I'm not. Oh, you're not. It's okay. asking in general. Well, that, okay, that's relevant. Oh, well, then you go Max King, who's more accomplished. But I think it does depend where your, your team and your list is at, right? Because uh, Jed Walter's 19, Max King is starting the prime now. He is pretty injury prone. That's the thing that works against Maxi Boy. But I think if you go on exposed quality, you'd go Max to be safe. Druzy, for Fremantle, because I've made a few Fremantle ones here. You can sign one of these two players for the rest of their careers. Harley Reid or Nick Dacos? Oh, I'll go Nick Dacos, eh? Hey. They're of that same ilk, but uh, Nick Dacos is uh, already a, like a game changer in terms of like when the game's in the balance. You go to, you go to Nick Dacos and he gets the job done. Um, I think he's going to go down as the GOAT, to be honest. So I'm going to have to say Nick Dacos. <laughs> I, yeah, I kind of disagree with that. Uh, even though I'm a West Coast fan, if you'd asked me <laughs> that, I would have said Harley Reid, but that's out of pure bias. I think most people would say Nick Dacos. What's the next one for me? Jesse, because I know you're such a big fan of Frio, I thought you'd, I'd ask you one for Frio. Cool. Uh, as a Fremantle GM, would you rather three first-round picks in this year's draft, which we have, or get rid of all of them and sign Liam Baker and Chad Warner? So I'm a GM, hey? A geriatric monkey. This is a tough scenario to get my head in. <laughs> I, I kind of tuned out for the rest of the question because I was like, ooh, joke. Um, so it's 7, 10, and 14, or Liam Baker. So the three first-round picks that we have? Yeah. Or trade them all for Liam Baker and Chad Warner, oh. which is probably what the trades are going to involve if we try to go for him. Liam Baker would probably be a one first-round pick and Chad Warner would probably be two. Yeah, okay. I thought it was 7, 10, and 14 for Liam Baker. I was like, are you serious? Uh, if you make it Chad Warner. Um, yeah, because I, I think Fremantle, where they're at at the moment, like as good as three first-round picks are, is that really what you need? I would probably suggest no. I think if you offered him Chad Warner and Liam Baker, and then you know you can probably put Liam Baker on any line and Chad Warner add him to your midfield. Absolutely go with Chad Warner and Liam Baker. Cool. Yeah, probably, yeah. probably. But this year's draft is so stacked. Like, we could continue, like, I don't know, it's the question of do you bring a premiership window forward or do you sustain it longer with high-end talent? So it is a it is a tricky one. But, yeah, if Chad Warner's available, I think you got to go for him. Yeah, yeah, Chad Warner's the, the shiny part of that. Um, I don't think Liam Baker on his own is a huge need, but if you... I, I don't know. I, I don't think Fremantle need more youth. You know what I mean? I think I think this the time is just about there. And also, Chad Warner is like 23, 22. I think he's 22. Mm. So um, I think that you get the best of both worlds there. Drewsy, who would you la rather Fremantle lose to in a prelim final? The West Coast Eagles or Carlton? Oh, <laughs> that is stinky ass. Yeah, it's gross. I'm going gonna, uh, gonna to say uh, I would rather lose to Carlton. I couldn't live down a West Coast grand final again like yeah 2018 was not a fun day for me so uh yeah i'd rather see carlton go on and probably bottle a grand final than west coast go in because west coast have a pretty good record in grand finals so uh yeah i just have faith that carlton would bottle it <laughs> okay fair enough i like that um and the good news is for you that you'll probably have to wait a while before west coast is back there <laughs> i will be a geriatric monkey by the time that comes around all right now this is a real thinker would you rather watch the last three years of Eagles football for the rest of your life or jump off a two-story building, landing on your legs, surviving, but never being able to walk again? You're so fucked. <laughs> that is horrific. I think I need my legs. I mean, I love my footy club. I love my footy club, but I think I would just like, I'd need my legs, brother. Um, <laughs> That's so bad. That's selfish, bro. You're going to put every Eagle fan through the pain of the last three years for the rest of eternity just so you can have legs? That's selfish, bro. Yeah, but... At least speaks to your character. Yeah, true. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I like how you like really reacted to my Eagles Carlton prelim one, and then you serve that up. All right, let's get it back on this mature, <laughs> the mature uh, point of view. <laughs> Dr- <The> fuck off, <laughs> <laughs> geriatric monkey. <laughs> I gotta remember this is my video and I have to act normal. Alright, next one for you, Drew. So you get to steal one of these three players at the start of the final series. So let's imagine Frio's in a final series. I know, crazy. And you get to steal one of these three players for that final series only Chad Warner, Isaac Heaney, er- uh, Errol Golden. Chad Warner. I think he has the most X Factor out of those guys. Like, Heaney's got some X Factor. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, I, I, it would be between Warner and he, uh, Warner and Golden for me. I don't know what it is with Isaac Heaney. Like, I know he's damaging and he's really good, but I don't know. I, I watch Sydney and I'm like, God, Warner and Golden are like classy. I don't know. I don't know. I prefer those two. Although we probably could use Golden on a wing mm, rather than... I think that's the selling point for Golden. Depth. He probably suits Freeman mm. a little bit better. That being said, Heaney as well can, you know, play forward and take a screamer and kick a winning goal. You know, I think he's got that X factor too for a final series. Yeah. You can't really go wrong with those three. They're all so good. Yeah, I'll go Golden, chuck him on the wing. Right. Um, Because, yeah, Hayden Young is beasting that midfield at the moment. Yeah. So. Jesse, would you rather the Ruckman for the rest of, you know, the next 10 years or whatever it is at West Coast, taking Sean Darcy or Brodie Grundy? Well, the first thing that pops to mind is Brody Grundy is like 30. Yeah, all right. Just go on ability. Like, who would okay, you prefer? Um, yeah. Ooh. The thing is, with Brody Grundy, obviously his best is like A+, plus, but there's just been a lot of years of mediocrity in there as well. Sean Darcy, mm. is, his ceiling is lower in terms of what he's achieved. Bearing in mind, he is also relatively young, right? Like, he's 26. But he's also pretty mm-hmm. consistently week in, week out good, uh, or at least season in, season out good. You know what I mean? Like, Sean Darcy's mm. never really gone through a period of being poor, um, as much as I can remember. I feel like his baseline is still contributing hard. So, yeah, I'd probably go with Sean Darcy whilst acknowledging that Brody Grundy's best is is better. Um, it's just the inconsistency piece for me that makes me a little bit wary. Druzy, which one of these three players do you want to lose in a trade home okay so hypothetically brayshaw sarong or hayden young you had to give up one of them to request a trade back to victoria who would it be uh andrew brayshaw i knew you would say brayshaw brayshaw was like the first guy in our rebuild right like pick two new face of the club and he's an absolute gun absolutely love brayshaw um won the afl mvp really early on but i could see quite early on since like probably some wrong second year that Sarong probably has a higher ceiling um and Hayden Young going into the midfield has just been a massive x factor this year like I feel like you can find a Brayshaw again before you can find a Hayden Young and a Sarong again yeah I think that's pretty well reasoned you're pretty blessed with three good midfielders there would you rather spend a month in a locked room with Ryan Crowley or and BT so both of them <laughs> or do slave labor for two months in ancient Egypt. <laughs> wait, ha- wait. So two months of slave labor and how long with Crowley and BT? One month. <laughs> I reckon I can change Crowley and BT. I reckon a month with me and they'll start to, <laughs> they'll start to act <laughs> normal. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe normal is not the right word there. Um, so you're, this is like a, a room, like a bedroom. So like oh, four man. walls, like you get like a dish of food in every day and that's it. Like, it's like no, prison. no entertainment. It's so yeah, prison without pri- the leisure time. No leisure time, just locked room, BT and Ryan Crowley or do two months of slave labor in, in ancient Egypt, which is probably nice back then, bro. The nature probably would have been crazy seeing the pyramids go up and stuff. Yeah, I like how it's twice be a good experience. as long as well in this scenario. It's twice <laughs> as long. Um, I don't think I'm built for slave labor, but they're both bad. I think I would choose the room with, oh, with okay. Crowley and BT. I can't believe I just used that sentence. <laughs> I reckon slave labor wouldn't have been too bad. Like, we're basically not the pyramids, slaves bro. anyway. Yeah, like, I don't know. I reckon you just get through it, eh? To be honest. Two months, do your stint, fly in, fly out. I wonder, if I'd be, <laughs> I wonder if I'd be jacked by the end of that. All right, so flowing on from the previous question, you chose uh, Andrew Brayshaw. Which club would you rather him go to, West Coast or Carlton? <laughs> oh, rats. Um, oh. Brayshaw and Chera tearing it up on the 
expanses of the MCG. Yeah, God, that's disgusting. Like acres as well. With the yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, no, I couldn't see him go to Carlton. Yeah, I'd prefer to see him go to West Coast. Yeah. Because, like, at the moment, I actually find myself, like, going for West Coast in games. Like, on the weekend, I need you to beat Brisbane. Because, mm. like, ladder position and that. Yeah. So, like, if you had a Brayshaw in there, you'd actually do us some favours. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, yeah, go to West Coast, I suppose. I'm so glad that's never happening. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Well, we had the better Brayshaw anyway. Would you rather be in the position of Brisbane or Hawthorne right now? Yeah, that's a tough one because Brisbane could legitimately win the flag this year. And I think if you're close enough, that's a hard thing to give up. Whereas Hawthorne, a couple of factors. Obviously, a good young list with the coach that I think is obviously very good. Um, And there's also the MCG factor, which I think um, people probably don't like to discuss it in Victoria. But it's definitely an advantage to being an MCG tenant. Massive advantage. So, and I think that does work against interstate clubs, and and therefore, I think that advantage plus everything that's positive with Hawthorne, I'd probably rather be Hawthorne. Um, and you do get the sense with Brisbane, like we we thought it was this happening at the start of the year, but if they derail, I mean, I, they've, they've got a bit of youth, definitely with the Ashcroft Ashcroft boys, but mm. it's still another thing to keep a window open. So I guess I would say Hawthorne. Yeah. Do you agree with that? Yeah, I'd probably say. What, Brisbane have another, God, two years of the window open, including this year? Maybe three at a push. Mm. But I feel like in three years, they'll probably be where Melbourne are now. Yeah. Um, yeah with like Danaher, be. Cameron. Um, I don't know. Well, they'll have Ashcroft coming into his prime there as well. But uh, yeah, I'd probably probably prefer to be Hawthorne as well. Well, yeah. If Brisbane win the flag this year, which is possible, um, this I, I look stupid already, but um, I'm just rolling the dice on that one. Would you rather suffer with lifelong gum infection or have Luke Shuey appointed senior coach of Fremantle? <laughs> oh, that's awful, man. Obviously have... Fuck. <laughs> Obviously have Shuey. I'll, I'll have Shuey. Yeah. That's shit. Uh, that sucks. You, man. you love Luke Shuey, bro. <laughs> that's terrible that sucks because my dad has gum disease so i'm just like oh <laughs> that's, that sucks i hate you where it hurts <laughs> would you rather have the career of tom boyd or brett delidio <laughs> um definitely tom boyd definitely tom boyd so delidio would be better paid um, because he played longer. Yep. mind you boyd had that massive contract but i don't think he saw it out True. and even if he did Oh, that's a tough one. Um, even from a money point of view, it, it'd be closer than you think because Boyd was on massive money. Either way, Tom Boyd for the team success. Yeah, in terms of just pure playing career and the grand final glory. Yeah, Tom Boyd. Who would you steal from North Melbourne from these three players? Sheasel, Wardlaw, or McKercher? Uh, definitely Sheasel. Yeah? Definitely. Yeah, he's got the highest ceiling of all those guys. Wardlaw's a bit of a beast, bit of a uh, sarong type. Mm. McKercher looks good. I haven't seen enough yet. And Sheasel's that same ilk as Dacos, I reckon. Bit of a S-tier, Brownlow caliber jet. So I'm going to go with Sheasel. Yeah, as I was looking at it just then, I think McKercher probably is about out of place here. I think the other two have him covered uh, at the moment. Um, would it have been different if McKercher was Larky? Mm, yeah. No, because I'm, I'm heaps happy with Tracy and Amos at the moment. Yeah, so. fair. If you were from South Australia, would you rather support the Crows or Port Adelaide? This is such a gentle one. I look, I, I don't prefer either club to the to the other that much. However, I would say that I've kind of always seen the Crows as like the west coast of South Australia, the, you know, the mm. the original club in that state and premiership success. And um, Port Adelaide is also a port town, which it reminds me of Fremantle. So that's a bit icky. Mm. So I, I reckon I'd be a Crows fan if I was there. What about you? I I used to be Crows, but after going to Gather Round and hanging out with Anthony and um, yeah, I don't know. I just thought Port have just been way more competitive for the last like 10 years. And I reckon they've just got a bit of a bit of a better culture and sort of history that runs through the sample as well. So mm. I'd probably go with the power. Um, but I do love um, like Glenelg and stuff like that, which I think is where the Crows train and what. Oh, I don't know. I'd go, I'm going to go Port. Would you rather Fremantle play in a grand final in the next five years? So you just get the guarantee that Fremantle is going to make a grand final or you swap subscriber accounts with Caden McDonald? 
<laughs> so, to, to make this clear as well, to make this clear, if you choose the Caden McDonald option, Fremantle do not make a grand final in five years. And also, Caden knows that you made this decision, so it might ruin the friendship. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Um, do I want the fame? Do I care for the fame and the clout, bro? Uh, I feel like Freo were going to make a grand final anyway. Yeah. And then I don't have to get up at 4am in the morning to go to work and I can sleep in and play FIFA in my jocks until 12pm every night or 12am every night. So yeah, I'm going to swap subscribe accounts with Caden. And, uh, Wait, but Fremantle, <laughs> yeah. Fremantle won't make one in five we'll years. We'll make a grand final anyway. We'll make a grand final. No, no, anyway, but like the, the part of it is that they, you guarantee that they won't if you choose the Caden McDonald option. Oh, well, that changes it. It does yeah, change no, it, yeah. We'll, we'll go for a grand final. Wow. If it was like leave it up to chance, yeah, no. Nah, we'll, we'll, I want to see a grand final, don't I? So, yeah. <laughs> you were going to totally dog Caden. Would you rather Harley Reid leaves West Coast or see Frio win two flags <laughs> um i would rather harley reed live west coast <laughs> you prick for a heavy bounty would you rather harley reed leaving west coast for the same outcome of the freo trade that freo got with luke mcfarlane and trent crow <laughs> or see freo win two flags <laughs> Wait, so does that mean that we get pick one and 36 and get Mitchell and Hodge? No, no, no. You get Luke McFarlane and Trent Crow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would still rather Luke McFarlane. He was pretty good. <laughs> he right, was pretty man. good. So. Okay, in this scenario, you're Liam Baker. Ignoring Fremantle for a minute, who would you rather play out the rest of your career for, Richmond or West Coast? Uh, ignoring the fact that you are a Fremantle fan, you're in the head of Liam Baker. Yeah, I'd go to West Coast, definitely. Would you? I feel like he's done everything. He, yeah, for sure. I think he's done everything he can at Richmond. Um, I feel like they're at similar points. Mm. And if I was Liam Baker, I listened to Gettable today and they were like, Liam Baker was close to leaving two years ago and he stayed. Mm. And it's like two years down the track and he's in the same predicament. So he's definitely going to leave. Mm. Um, and yeah, I think he'd prefer to play for West Coast and Richmond for the rest of his career. Yeah, I think West Coast and Richmond probably have the uh, the roughest looking lists from a future point of view out of the league. That's why I thought this was an interesting one. Um, and it seems like Liam Baker's West Coast bound, even though Fremantle have the better list. Um, but we'll see what happens. I'm, I'm unbiased in that. I, I'm like... I'd actually say West Coast have a better list than Richmond do at the moment. Uh, yeah, I think, I think we're a couple of years ahead in terms of getting high picks. So um, yeah. that's all it is. But, you know, next year, if injuries don't hit Richmond hard, they might still finish higher than us. Who knows? Would you rather another AFL club be brought in after Tassie or not? Yeah, I could, I could live with 20. 20 is my absolute max. If Tassie came in and we just started, like, mixing and matching certain clubs, I feel like that would be weird. But at the same time, I'd probably rather less teams than more, I suppose. Yeah, I I'm happy with 20 and... It'd be nice to see some other part of Australia represented. It's got to be Darwin, eh? Probably. Like, a lot of these decisions are made on how, how can we maximise money and, and go into a new market. It's kind of a weird league that we don't have, like, more South Australian or West Australian teams, considering the football culture. Yeah, there's no money to be made, really, in, in starting a third team in other of those states. So it would probably be, like, a Northern Australia thing. Nice. That's all mine. I'm glad we finished on a funny one. Considering our chat earlier, this one now looks stupid, but I was going to say, would you rather have pick one in this year's draft or Fremantle's draft hand of 7, 10, and 14? Specifically for oh, Fremantle. Specifically for Fremantle. The three picks. Because yeah. like this year's draft, like the anyone could go pick one. Like yeah. It's not like it's a Harley Reid draft or like a you know, Nick Dacos or whatever where there's a clear number one pick. And then pretty much from like 6 to 20, it's like could be anyone. So... Yeah, I'd take for a draft hand. Okay, I agree with that. I think you're dead on. What if it was last year? What if it was Harley Reid? And at seven, you had players like... Or, or in the, the seven, ten, and fourteen, you had players like uh, Caleb Windsor, Connor O'Sullivan, and say James Leake or Colton Tholstrop or something like that. Those kind of quality players. Would you have done it last year? No, nah, yeah. No, nah, you take Harley Reid for sure. He's a generational talent. Nice. I'm glad yeah, we ended definitely. up. I think even North Melbourne, like getting Zane Dersmer and Colby McKercher would probably prefer, like Harley Reid would accelerate their rebuild, I feel. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I think West Coast did ask for that um, and North rejected it. And we'll see. Really? I, yeah. The two and three, uh, McKercher and Dersmer. Yeah. I also would have, I would have done that trade for two and three. Yeah. Right. There um, you go. 
but yeah, I was a huge fan of McKerch. I still am, but um, yeah, YOLO. I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out anyway. So, Drew, do you want to outro my video for me, or should I do it? <laughs> sure. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, there's a large majority of the audience that isn't subscribed, so please subscribe to the True Footy channel. Are we pushing for 30K? Are we at 30K? No, nah, I'm actively trying to not get there, Drews. Oh, okay. How far off are you from 30K? Uh, like one and a half thousand, something like that. We need to get to 30K by Christmas, and there's a large majority of the audience that isn't subscribed. So we want you to subscribe to the True Footy YouTube channel because one day this is going to be the biggest and best AFL YouTube channel there is. Isn't that right, Jesse? Thanks for joining me today. We stopped the COVID. Make True Footy great again. Also, while you're there, might as well check out Drewsy's channel and subscribe. Thanks, everyone. I'll see you in the next one.